just in time. Found out who went rooting around in our skulls, and you'll never guess who it was. As a totally unrelated hint, I'm in charge of his boat now. Yeah, looks like it. When the tribals would send someone to the swamp, he'd be waiting around to nab them when the Pungasides gassed him. He'd do his amateur surgery for the tribals and let us wander back, all in exchange for Punga fruit to trade. <laughs> Sweet little deal he had going on. Anyway, I figured you'd want a shot at some revenge, so I put him under citizen's arrest, sort of. Yeah, he seemed nice enough, didn't he? I wouldn't have figured it out if I hadn't snuck into his engine room while waiting for you. From the look of it, he kept every bit of gray matter he cut out, and he had quite a collection. You can take a look if your stomach's up to it. And while you're in there, feel free to give Tobar my love, preferably with the sharp end of a hot knife. First off, I'm claiming this boat. I put Tobar down, so it's mine. Them's the rules of the ocean. So that leaves me with a boat, a load of punga, and a wicked scar. Damn if I haven't earned that adventure I came out looking for. Think I'll take over running this ship. I can travel as I like and always head back to the wasteland to see Mom. Not a bad way to live, huh? Of course, you can always ride for free. Yeah, enough, Gavin. Let's move. Well, if it isn't my favorite traveler, and oh, what a trip you were on. Why, when you were under, you should have heard some of the things that came out of your mouth. But I suppose you're more interested in what came out of your head, aren't you? Why do we do anything? You travel the world, kill people, take trophies that interest you, and move on. I'm much the same. The only difference is that my trophies are somewhat more medical in nature. Oh, and to be honest, I'd probably kill fewer people than you do. But I suppose it's time that came to an end. One way or another.
Thank you. 
Hello? You are... a fellow seeker of the higher planes, perhaps? What brings you here? What splendid news! At last, the Holy Land is empty of his disruptive aura, and the astral plane is open to us all. Oh, but the Transcendent Master will want to hear of this, and as the returning champion, it is your right and honor to tell him yourself. After all, it is he who makes all true decisions about the spiritual growth of our tribe, including the decision to cleanse the mansion. Would that I was so wise. No, true leadership of the tribe belongs to the higher mind of the Enlightened One. Although his mind has moved beyond the need for flesh, his consciousness still returns here to guide our people. I merely interpret his wishes. He manifests here, high on a ledge in the great sea cave's well. Perhaps if you are fortunate, he will choose to share his wisdom with you. We take no pleasure in violence. Our goal was merely to remove the ghoul. His presence is an offense to the Transcendent Master's astral dominion. I cannot claim to understand the exact reasons that the mansion's resident caused such disruption, however. To understand fully, ask the Master. I know it may seem that I am a brave shepherd to my flock, but the truth is far more humble. I am nothing more than the largest fish in our school, as we swim through the astral seas, exploring, learning, and becoming one. But we are not swimming aimlessly. No, we have a beacon. The Shining Mind speaks to me in my meditations, and guides us always. Yes, commune with him, while I see to my tribe. There is much to be done. Is no use at all. 
Yes, away with you! was behind all this. After all these years, he stuck his head out, and this is my chance to cut it off. Figuratively speaking, of course. Him. I should have known. My old rival, so close to his family home. Only he would be so stupid. He was once a man, Professor Calvert. The Calverts owned half of Maryland, back when there was a Maryland to own. Members of the Calvert family were influential all over the world. They practically owned a deed to the U.S. government. In their best days, there were no less than three Calvert family senators, seven members of the House, and two governors. They even had a top candidate for president, until that scandal with the dog forced them to drop out of the race. I was particularly proud of that one. Calvert is my old rival. Centuries we've played this game. I knew he'd be stupid enough to hide so close to his family home. It's not a matter of hate. It's a matter of destiny. He is my enemy, and I do not suffer any bastard who opposes me to live. I knew he was here, and it is my intent to find him and call down a righteous fucking hammer on his head. Figurative, I mean. His head. Of course I fucking want you to do something else. You don't expect me to trot around this mud hole myself, do you? Or what? <laughs> You think I haven't been shot before? Think that you, over the thousands who have tried, can take me down? You'd best wise the hell up and play along. I'll get what I want, and you'll get rich, and then we can go about our separate goddamn ways. So, those half-wits are getting messages from the Professor, right? So he's off somewhere, broadcasting to him. But without those buggers to do things for him, he can't do much for himself. So, we cut off his ability to talk to him, and he'll need to try harder. Maybe then I can find this squishy little worm and finish him off for good. If I know Professor Calvert, and I do, He's using a high-frequency cognitive sign broadcast. I have the perfect device to jam up his little talk box. All you need to do is take it to the highest point on the shore and install it. Easy, right? Right. Attach it to the bottom car, then turn it on and spin the jammer to the top. No fucking problem. I'll watch from here and turn it on. Then we'll see where our little professor is. Now, go!
It is I, Professor Calvert. Don't bother looking around. I am in your mind. But aren't you Desmond's faithful little employee? Coming to gum up my work, are we? Well, I have a better idea. How about instead of playing his game, you destroy that nasty little device? Deposit it in the nearby trash compactor and we will never have to worry about it again. I assure you that the gratitude of Professor Calvert is worth a great deal more than that of a washed up old limey.
bastard. That bastard. He killed my pups. Nearly killed me. For what? He doesn't have the body to fucking do it himself. So he tried to blow me up. Me? Well, this ends today. Desmond Lockhart will finally win out. I know where he is. He overplayed his hand this time. You and me are going to walk in there and end this. The lighthouse. He's got a lab under there, the little fuck. Right under my nose the whole time. I found it when he boosted his signal to try to get through the jamming, when he sent those tribals to kill my poor pups. He's down there, hiding behind robots and machines, sucking life. Pathetic! He dies now! Now, that's more like it. Follow me. You're about to witness the end of an era.
through this place.
No, Galvard. I brought someone with me. Someone very special. This stranger tricked you into letting me find where you are hiding. Yes, Desmond. But whose side is she on? Do you know? Can you be sure? You always were so bad at choosing your allies. Well, we shall see, shan't we? Destroy him. No, no! Destroy him! And here we are again. I'm so fucking sick of your empty threats. You disgusting... At last, the world is rid of that sniveling, disgusting, arrogant brain. Think of it. Everything he learned, everything he had, it's all here, and it's all mine. Mine. Moron, you cannot possibly comprehend what this is worth. I've been battling with Calvert for over 200 years, and now at last, I am the victor. And now, 200 years of technology, knowledge, and research that he stole from me. Every time he beat me, it doesn't matter now. You're free to take whatever you find in this disgusting place. What I came for is of no interest to you. Enjoy your spoils. I don't think our paths will ever cross again. And I think we can both thank Christ and say hallelujah for that.
I'm busy. What do you want? Now that we're rid of Calvert, I'll be heading north to pursue my next rival. There are only a few of us left now. The great game goes on. Sort of a... Uh, what's a word you'd understand? Microcosm? Yeah. It's a microcosm for the old world. I'm pulling all the data that I can from Calvert's computers. Everything the little bastard gathered is here. And then, when I'm done, I'll leave this place to sink into the sea. Can I go back to work now? 